My name is Adriana Tilton and I'm a second year medical student. I was definitely one of those kids that always knew that I wanted to be a doctor and I've kind of kept that desire throughout my academic path. I'm really interested in mental health and also addiction, so getting a medical degree kind of um, is the great um, avenue to go for those interests. So I went to UCF, but FSU has a regional campus in Orlando, so I worked for the STRIDE program starting my sophomore year. And the program focuses on mentoring middle school and high school students, so I did that for a couple of years, and that's kind of where I first learned about FSU and its mission. It's important for me to pursue a graduate degree because I really want to be an example for others to know that it's possible to reach um, this point and specifically minority students because I know it's hard, you know, trying to go down this path without having an example. Uh, so I hope that I can be that for someone. We do have a lot to study for, so most of my days are usually consumed with studying, but I'm also involved on campus. I am the lead editor for our school's magazine. I'm a part of the Student National Medical Association, so I'm the secretary for that, so that means a lot of emails to send and meetings. Um, I also do photography as well, so sometimes, like, uh, whenever I have free time, I take pictures of my friends and things like that. So my passion is really helping the underserved, specifically with mental health services. So over the summer, I spent some time at Columbia University, their medical school, and I worked in a few different subspecialties in psych. So I was basically, you know, seeing patients, working with them, working with physicians, and we also did a lot of community service work in New York City as well. And then after that, I went to the Betty Ford Center in California for an addiction fellowship. So we were basically um, going through rehab with patients that were also um, that were in rehab. Um, so we were going through their day by day, um, their process of recovery and attending groups with them. So it was a really intimate experience and it was really one of a kind and eye opening to see uh, recovery through the eyes of the patient. Well, my mom has definitely been um, the most influential to my success. Uh, when I was back in middle school or high school, she went back to school to pursue a nursing degree. Before that, she had been a cosmetology, cosmetologist um, for years, um, and she decided that you know she wanted to pursue that path. So it was really inspirational seeing her you know juggle family life, juggle school, juggle work, and she did it with such grace. So that kind of you know showed me that it is possible to handle all these things and to do it well. I actually have like a medical school related Instagram where I share my journey. I started it um, during my first year of medical student, uh, medical school, and um, I basically just show my day-to-day -day life. And I really like it because it's a good avenue for me to mentor students that I may not have met otherwise. So I'm kind of a person that, you know, I hope people feel comfortable with coming to me for advice or help with their um, applications for medical school. You do have to have a degree of confidence in yourself as you go on this journey. You have to have faith that you know you will reach the end and you also need people that believe in you because you know you're bound to have times where you're down or you don't feel like you're able to go on so have people that can feed into you and can you know kind of boost you up and let you know that you know you deserve to be here and that you just have to keep pushing. 